Now, our final cruise is with mm, Fred Olsen. And I love this. Do you know, I was very lucky to cruise with Fred Olsen um, back in November, and I really, really, genuinely loved the experience. The, the food, the service was outstanding. The ship was so well maintained. Uh, I had a great time, and uh, I did a bit of filming there as well, so let's uh, take you on board with Fred Olsen. Fred Olsen operates smaller, personal, more traditional ships. The atmosphere is welcoming and warm, and you soon get to know your fellow passengers and crew. And although all the ships have their own distinctive personalities, they all share the same great comforts, cuisine and service that Fred Olsen are so proud of. One of the highlights of a Fred Olsen cruise is the superb cuisine. Their chefs are passionate about food, so you'll be assured the same outstanding quality, no matter which menu you choose or where you decide to dine. Now, if the sun's shining, you might decide to have breakfast al fresco, or if you're feeling a bit lazy, then why not just have it delivered straight to your cabin? Lunch choices are really plenty and on an evening main restaurants such as this offer a delicious and delectable five-course dinner. Although Fred Olsen chips are generally more intimate in size they still offer a great choice of bars and entertainment. They also want you to relax and enjoy your holiday not worry too much about how much things cost so drinks prices are really really reasonable. Uh, you may however wish to upgrade to their all-inclusive package knowing almost everything is covered. So whether you enjoy having a, a cocktail by the pool or a pint in a traditional British pub, you're sure to enjoy your favourite tipple. Although the ships are generally smaller, with approximately eight to 900 passengers in general, they've got all the facilities and conveniences you need to have a really great time. So you might want to enjoy a, a bubbling jacuzzi or have a little swim. You may also find classes such as yoga or pilates in the fitness centre, or decide to treat yourself and be pampered in the Atlantis Spa and Salon. Delightful libraries, card rooms, arts and crafts rooms, gaming tables may also be available, and of course, great entertainment. Fred Olsen offer a really wide variety of accommodation to suit all different needs and budgets. You can choose from a balcony cabin, an outside or an inside cabin, and for solar travellers, special single accommodation is also available. All cabins though have interactive televisions, a safe tea and coffee making facilities, and they all have a really nice warm and cosy feel. Did you notice that in every single shot you had a drink in your hand? <laughs> I didn't notice that, Archie. <laughs> Keith did point out that my hair looked a bit of a mess at one point. Know, it know. was a bit windy. The wind, the wind had got it. It was great. It was like uh, tinted. It was, it was good. <laughs> but I honestly had such a great time. I really did. I was very impressed. And you loved the food on board as well, didn't I loved you? the food. The I loved the service. It was very intimate, you know. And a very friendly crew. That's the big thing about Fred yeah. Olsen. They've only got, you know, three or four ships. So the crew will know each other. It's a real family experience on board. They really go out of their way to look after you. Well, anyway, um, I was on board for five days. You could be on board for uh, an amazing cruise because this is a 23-night Dubai to Kuala Lumpur fly stay and cruise. It is amazing, this one, for under £2,000. So oh. we're flying you to Dubai, and you've got two nights here in a wonderful hotel, haven't you? That's right, yes. A hand-picked hotel and, of course, Dubai. In the middle of a desert where almost nothing existed 20 years ago. It sits like a movie set. It's incredible. Everything's the biggest, the tallest, the first of its kind, including man-made islands that shaped like palm trees and the world's first underwater hotel. It's a striking collection of styles, including modern interpretations on Islamic architecture. If the world's largest uh, uh, shopping mall doesn't appeal, traditional souks that exist, um, you can gulp at the Burj Al Arab Hotel, the world's only seven-star hotel, um, with that underwater hotel, with that underwater restaurant. You can admire the views from the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, tour the awe-inspiring Jeremiah Mosque, uh, or go camel, camel racing, <laughs> sandboarding, I, I, snowboarding. See, I'm dying to visit Dubai, but I don't know whether I want to be there a week, two weeks. So again, this is ideal. You're there two nights, but then you've got this fantastic 17-night cruise. Exactly. Uh, so. Your, all of your transfers, by the way, are always included with Planet Cruise as well. Not all agents do that, but they are. Absolutely. So anyway, you uh, obviously, I transferred from your hotel to the port. Uh, your first days are at sea, but we're making our way over to Mumbai. Yeah, wow, I love this place. The home of Bollywood, uh, now well-famous film industry. It's the glamour capital of India. It's a city of stark contrast. Modern towers of steel and glass next to stately stone edifices from the days of the English Raj. Automobiles race down crowded streets, and everyone, uh, everywhere, is this wonderful paradox of India. You know, you've got the gateway of India. It's a place of haunting beautiful. The marble serenity of the Jain Palace, the sculptures in the elephant caves. 
Um, let, basically, my recommendation is let your taxi driver recommend his family's restaurant for the greatest curry you'll ever taste, and then head, where, head down to the Dobie Gat, the world's largest laundry, where hundreds of Dobies scrub the city's laundry in concrete basins. And they live there, they work there, all the hospitals, all the big hotels get their stuff washed there. It's impossibly white like your washing machine could never do, and it's all done by hand. Wow. Mind-blowing. Um, relaxing day at sea, and then you're going to coach in. Uh, this is a vibrant city in the spectacularly scenic and prosperous state of Kerala, one of the finest natural harbours in the world. Uh, and again, you've got beautiful, beautiful beaches and antique shops and uh, bungalows to enjoy. Now, another day at sea. Yeah, then you're going to Gao, and this is the capital of the southern province of Sri Lanka. Endless beaches, timeless ruins, welcoming people, oodles of elephants, killer surf, cheap prices, great food. Uh, then... Again, two days at sea. It's this really nicely spread out, actually. A few days at sea. Yeah, and, the, and the weather's going to be great. You're going to be out yeah, standing on the deck. You're going to be getting cultural experiences on board the ship. And then you're going to the Andaman Islands. And I, I tweeted and I put on Facebook a picture of what you can do in the Andaman Islands. Uh, this is a remote Indian archipelago. Um, and again, you've got amazing flora, amazing rainforest, white sand pre uh, beaches, and you can swim with the elephants. It's incredible. Yeah, I you put a picture, a picture on there. That, yeah. The world's only swimming elephants. They swim in the ocean. Uh, I mean, it's amazing. Mind blowing. Um, relaxing day at sea, and then you're going to Yangon in Burma. Oh, this is a, a low rise downtown consisting of leafy avenues, a load of colonial architecture. From almost anywhere in Yangon, you can see the gilded dome of the Shuagan pagoda hanging over you protectively. Um, it's one of Asia's greatest religious sites. It affects all the lives of the Burmese people that make their devotions all the time. Every day you'll see them. Buddhist monks fill the streets in their wonderful orange robes. Go and see some Burmese puppet dance, haggle with the merchants at the immense Scott Market, or gawp at the 76-carat diamond that tops that pagoda. Absolutely amazing. I can't imagine how big that is. Uh, now, a few more days at sea, and then... Kuala Lumpur, you disembark here, but you actually have an extra two nights, again, in a hotel, don't you? And you need it to explore it. It's great. Steel and glass towers stand side by side with graceful colonial buildings and mosques adorned with slender minarets. The commercial, financial, economic and cultural heart of Malaysia is an ethnic melting pot and one of the world's great eating capitals. Just try the street food. It is amazing. Explore the colonial core, uh, the enclaves of Chinatown, Little India. Head to the Golden Triangle, the modern heart of downtown uh, Kuala Lumpur. Immerse yourself in the street life with boisterous markets, fish and uh, fish, mar uh, fish produce, and uh, where you can see cooked food of all, every shape and description. Or head out to the Batu Caves, which are simply magical and monkeys everywhere. Well, um, outstanding. We do expect this one to sell very, very quickly. There's only one date available. Um, outstanding value for money. Only deposit needed, by the way, to secure your place. And with the ships being more intimate, there's not a huge amount of availability on this one. We've got return flights from London, Manchester and Birmingham. All your transfers are included. Uh, we have got flights from Glasgow. Supplements may apply for that, but please ask our call centre. And don't forget, you get the extra two nights in Dubai and two nights in Kuala Lumpur as well, and 70 nights on board. And it'd be shame to miss out on excursions of this one. Again, you can save up to 60% by booking through Planet Cruise on these as well. So just ask our call centre about those. And for anyone that's never booked before, all of our cruises are quality assured, which means that they're... Atoll and up to protected. They include all the transfers, the hotels, all quality hotels, and flights with world-renowned airlines.